Let me start this video off by saying I'm very grateful for psychedelics. They have vastly impacted my life in a positive way, and I'm very grateful for them. However, there are certain things about plant medicine and psychedelics that are not being talked about that I think are very, very important to understand. Right now in our culture, there is lots of positivity around these substances and how they can help heal past traumas, emotions, addictions, mood disorders, which are all great. But one of the things that you must understand with these substances is that they do have an impact on your energetic field. We as humans, although we think we're often just a human physical body, we actually have an energetic body as well that surrounds our physical body and is comprised of emotions mainly. And this energetic body, when you're aware of it, starts to allow you to sense and feel other things outside of your immediate consciousness. And most of the time, you don't really know this until it comes online. What I've observed with psychedelics is that things such as ayahuasca, mushrooms, they can actually create a hole in this energetic body. And this happened to me. And the common pattern that I've seen is oftentimes after people do psychedelics, they become incredibly sensitive. They can be sensitive to noises, to substances, to cell phone towers, to emotions that aren't theirs. And people are wondering, what the heck is going on? Why all of a sudden am I so sensitive? Why am I feeling these things that aren't mine? Why am I impacted by things that previously didn't? The reason is, and perhaps something you might want to look into is whether you've actually created a hole in your energetic field. For me, this happened after I did ayahuasca. I was completely unaware of it, but it started to get on my radar once I saw a healer and she told me that I had a foreign energy or entity. And this happened all of the time. Every single time I drank, which also creates somewhat of a portal for outside energies, I started to feel things that weren't mine. I started to feel anxiety that wasn't mine. And I just didn't know where it was coming from. And it was very, very confusing. And it wasn't until I started to really investigate this concept of the energy body and work with professionals to help repair my energy body that I was able to finally kind of reclaim my space and not have the dramatic sensitivities that often made it difficult to just move through life graciously. And so I don't know that this should stop you from doing psychedelics. I mean, everyone should go and do their own research and make the best decision for them. I do think though, if you are going through some of what I'm talking about, you might want to try to find a professional or healer or someone that works with energy and understands the etheric body to heal what has put a hole in it. And there's some great exercises that you can do that Tara Springett, who I will link to below, provides on how to heal this, where you're basically visualizing a circle and kind of feeling through your third eye whether there are any holes in it. That has been profoundly helpful for me. But know that this is a phenomenon that can be healed, it can be repaired, and it's something that you shouldn't be super concerned about. And if you don't have this and you're thinking about doing psychedelics, it's something that you might want to consider. There is a reason that a lot of wise spiritual teachers advise against these substances. Some because they don't think people can handle just the massive acceleration and amplification of whatever is in their consciousness that they might not be aware of. Other people recognize some of the side effects which modern medicine and society has for the most part, not acknowledge and the challenges that can come with it. So I encourage you to be open to this idea. I will be creating more videos on how to deal with this specific challenge of energetic sensitivity. If that's interesting to you, I encourage you to subscribe. I also encourage you to check out Substack. I do a lot of long form written content on this topic as well. If that's interesting to you, I hope you found this helpful and that you have a great day.